when you buy things, say, in a big bag, it can be very tricky because, say, I want to buy pretzels and I like to snack on pretzels. It's a low-fat snack. But if I open the big bag of pretzels, I might eat half of that bag or the entire bag. Buying food in bulk can be a really smart thing to do if you're trying to eat healthy and also to, um, to save money. But you have to be sort of careful and strategic about how you buy it. So it's great to buy grains and legumes and uh, things like dried fruit in bulk. And then what I do is I bring it home and I put it into glass containers or another type of container that has a lid on it. And for example, if it's couscous, you, I would actually put the directions for how to cook the couscous on on that container and also the date that I bought it so that you know that that couscous hasn't been sitting around on your you know on your cupboard shelf for a year um, and then when you buy things say in a big bag it can be very tricky because say I want to buy pretzels and I like to snack on pretzels it's a low-fat snack but if I open the big bag of pretzels I might eat half of that bag or the entire bag. Um, but if you have a little self-control, what you can do is buy the big bag, which saves you money. It's, it's much cheaper than buying the individual size bags. And then just put them in portion controlled zip top bags. Um, this also works well for nuts, baby carrots, things like that. And then you just package them up on whatever day you have some free time. Maybe it's Sunday, maybe it's Friday, and then you have them throughout the week.